G'day everybody, thanks for tuning in today. You've uh, tuned into the Pedal Picasso. Thank you for clicking on that link and spending some time with us. This is the HX FX, and uh, if you're watching this video, you know that unlike the uh, HX Stomp and the HX Stomp XL, uh, this has no amps and no cabs in it, which is, um, you know, perfect if you're just going into a guitar amp, but lots of us are going, um, direct now and lots of us have already made a pretty big investment in uh, the HS, HX FX. Uh, so I have done lots of research for you so you don't have to and this is how I've come up with being able to go direct with the HX FX. So if you go through your um, if you go through uh, when you click the big knob if you start a new preset you click the big knob if you can, instead of selecting a drive or a delay or a reverb or pitch or whatever you're going, go down to impulse responses. Now, an impulse response in days gone by has just been pretty much a speaker cab or maybe one speaker, the emulation of one speaker. But now there are IRs for everything. You can make your guitar sound like a banjo or a mandolin. Uh, and people have also made impulse responses or IRs of entire rigs and entire amplifiers. And sometimes they make IRs of a pedal in front of an amp with going through the speaker cabinet as well. So IRs have come a long way. So having an IR loader in your HX FX um, effectively will get you out of a pinch and will let you go direct um, into a uh, PA system or an FR, FR speaker, that sort of stuff. So today I'm gonna to show you what I've done. So, I have found 10 different IRs here. Uh, the first one is, where am I? The first one is like a little Fender Champ with an eight inch speaker in it. So just so you all know what I'm talking about. That's how my sound sounds with, uh, with the impulse response on. And this is how it sounds when it's off. So it's like a pedal going direct. Sounds like early Cowboys from Hell sort of tone, but uh, that direct sound is not ideal unless that's what you're looking for. This is a Klon, so this is still the, uh, the eight inch Fender Champ. The tube screamer. Tube screamer. So that's the um the uh, little Fender Champ eight inch. There's also a Vox. This one's supposed to be sound like a Marshall. driver. A 
again without the impulse response. And the clon. No impulse response. So you get the basic gist of it. So the other things that I have done, so I have a, a 10 band graphic equalizer here. I'll just see if I can, what I've done is I've pretty much put a smiley face on it. I've taken the real low frequencies out of it, the real high frequencies out of it. Uh, I'm just giving it a, a little bit of a mid hump, uh, like a guitar speaker normally would. <laughs> Just to help the uh, the IR along a little bit, um, just to sort of give it its um, just to give it uh, a little bit of a help along. And then I also have a compressor on there, but I have the mix of the compressor sort of halfway, so all my dry signals coming through as well, and my compressed signals coming through a little bit as well. And that just sort of adds like a saggy feel. <laughs> Just sort of gives you a more compressed feel under your fingers for when you're playing. Direct. So that's how I've done it. I'll just find one more. This one's supposed to sound like an orange with a 412 cab. So you can hear how digital and horrible it sounds with, um, with the uh, IR off. Now with the clon. So anyway, there you have it everybody. I hope that, you, that was useful. So yeah, look, a couple of drives on there. Um, there is a couple of uh, pr actual preamps in the compressor section as well, like a, an LA Studio uh, preamp and a few different things, but none of them sort of really worked as well as a drive pedal. So look, if you've already spent your money on the HX effects and you wanted to go direct, if you did some research and found some really cool IRs, and I'm not just talking speaker cab IRs, I'm talking whole rig IRs, which are available from, you know, a hundred different uh, retailers for about five bucks each. Uh, let me know how you go, let me know which one really works for you because I'm really interested in doing this um, to go along with the HX Stomp rig that I've already got. Uh, but this is really cool, I think this is really exciting and, um, yeah, let me know how you go. Let me know if you've tried one of the banjo ones or the mandolin ones or uh, the violin ones. I believe there's a very good violin IR to make your guitar sound like a violin. So um, let me know if you've mucked around with them because I, uh, you know, the more we all sort of share the information, the better we all get. So uh, I hope you found this helpful. Um, so give us a thumbs up and a like. It really helps the channel a lot. And, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.